Hey everyone, good morning. It's Monday morning, March 7th. Um, it was a beautiful spring weekend here in Horseshoe Bay. Um, <clears throat> in the 80s all weekend long, it was nice to get outside and then overnight weather rolled in. And so it's a little bit chilly. Everybody's back in their sweaters here for a couple of days. So a little pause on spring. Um, spring breaks next week. So hopefully we get some warm weather uh, as people start coming back to the lake. So this week, we are going to talk about how buyers have changed. National Association of Realtors sent out some survey results um, from last, late last year, early this year. And the article basically is, is how buyer preferences have changed um, in the last five years. And it goes back even a little bit longer than that in some ways. So first up, you know, as you can probably imagine, buyers... Um, trends, tastes tend to change anyway, throw in a pandemic. Uh, and that really, really kind of messes with things as you, as you probably know already. So the first way that buyers have changed has been their priorities. Um, in the last couple of years, um, instead of wanting to be close to work, which some still do, being close to family and friends has kind of jumped into the number two spot. The number one thing that buyers are looking for with their priorities is still the quality of neighborhood. Uh, that has stayed the same and stayed very consistent. Um, People have asked for larger homes. They want larger homes, particularly married families, married couples, and um, families with children under 18. Um, and so in those two, two categories, larger homes has been a, has been a thing. Um, fewer buyers are married couples. There has been a large increase in the last five years in single women um, owning property, owning homes. And so single males, yes, but not nearly as significantly as single women. Um, buyers are getting older. The medium age since 1981 has risen from 31 years old to 45 years old with repeat buyers, buyers bu buying a second, third, fourth home, averaging 56 years old. And that's the highest that um, National Association of Realtors has seen. Um, and the last thing is buyers are less likely to have children. Uh, the birth rate has dropped for six years in a row. Um, and there are more married couples saying that they're not going to have children. And so um, we are seeing fewer families with children. Um, and a little side note before we finish up, first time buyers. Uh, I've talked to some, I've had some clients who are first year buyers. It is a really, really tough market in some areas for them, particularly in the cities. I was talking to one, one couple in Austin um, and I really felt bad for them uh, and what they were trying to accomplish and how difficult um, it was to compete with the offers that are there, uh, especially if you have to finance. And so first time buyers, has gone up from 29 years old in 2010 uh, as the average age to 33 years old in 2021. Um, part of that is in 2010, there were some um, uh, incentives for home buyers. And so we saw a large increase in first time buyers. I remember myself, I bought in 2008, so I was right in that same, same range, uh, a little bit older um, than, than the average at that particular time. Now we're up to 33 years old, makes sense. People that are a little bit more established. So. Anyway, that is our quick market report for this week. It's a little bit longer than a minute. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Feel free to give me a call, drop me a text, drop me an email. I'd love to chat with you about the market and what we expect coming up. Um, and if you're a first time buyer, let's talk about how we can get you in position to be successful in your efforts to secure your first home. All right, have a great week, everyone. Take care, bye-bye.